this is the most difficult part of being an actor for me is it's trying to balance yes being an actor but then also having a life outside of acting it's really hard to just decide you want to be an actor and then full-time be banking off of just that but then it's really hard to get a job as an actor because if an audition pops up or you book a gig you have to call off all of the time and like your schedule's really funky and gigs pop up really last minute you'll get a call from a casting director hey can you be here tomorrow but if you have a normal job like no you really can't be there tomorrow but then you also need this regular job because you need to pay your bills and it's like i think a lot of us actors and us creatives too yes we're creative but we're also like entrepreneurs at heart so i constantly am thinking to myself like yes i could start this business i could go all in on this business and times are slow in my acting career so i'm really going to focus on this business and I really do go all in on this business for like three days and then the freaking acting thing like picks up again and so it's just this constant battle of like starting something really trying to focus on it but then these auditions come in and kind of pull me away from that but then and these auditions are fun and they're like okay projects but I also know that they're projects that are not going to make or break my career as an actor so I'm like do I want to take them do I want to focus on this business thing but then I love being on set so I do want to take them because that is my ultimate passion I want to start a business but it's obviously really time consuming you can end up making a lot of money but a lot of the time when you start a business you're not really making a lot of money up front and I like do more of a freelance business where I can keep all of the profit but then I'm the one doing all the work and I'm an actor so I want to have a lot of time so well, I want to start a business but I want to hire on people and I want to scale so that way I can hire it out to them like passive income for me but then even if I do that then I have to manage this whole team and then can you even be a successful business owner and also be an actor it's also the catch-22 of this business where it's like oh you don't have enough credits to go in for this role okay but then how do I book the first role if I don't have any credits and if you need credits to book a role how does anybody ever freaking book a role so then it's like, oh, do I want to just live out of my savings and really go all in on this actor thing, like really dive into the classes and like really just hope and pray that these good auditions come to me and I can focus on them. But the catch 22 of this business is even if you do that, you still might not get auditions and you still might not book. That is why every time I meet somebody and they tell me that they're an actor and they've been doing this thing for a long time, I have such just mad respect for actors because it's so hard aside from the like oh what have you been in thing there's always the people that are like yeah like that's isn't that a really hard industry like how's it going um, when you tell them you're an actor but they don't know of any like shows or any movies that you've been on so that like immediate pity that you get from them it's like oh and then Oh, and then, and then also, like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, like, everybody in LA is an actor, that sometimes when people ask me what I do, why do I just, like, feel embarrassed to say, I literally just feel like, oh, I'm literally, like, doing the same thing as everybody else. Um, two, if you try to do anything outside of acting, people just really love to niche you down, which is so funny because everybody in LA, we all do a million things and we all know that everybody does a million things. Yet as human beings, we still niche people down. I do it too. Like I think of one person in my head and I think of like what they do or like, oh my God. LA just in and of itself has been frustrating me so much lately. There's too many people here for the amount of space. It's so crowded going literally anywhere. I even like moved to the more like suburban part of LA and still here, there are just so many hecking people. And then people are just rude, like out in public, just like the amount of people on the road, just like flicking people off, cutting people off. I literally had a semi truck that I almost tried to like pull in front of the other day on, but because then he like sped up so I couldn't pass him or whatever. So I was like, that's fine. Um, I'm working on some stuff. I think I'm healed and then I do stuff like this, but naturally what he did, he was being an a-hole. So I flicked him off. Not a proud moment for me. Not a proud moment for me. I'm not saying I was in the right, but I flicked him off. So then what does he do? He takes his big semi truck and like pretends to swerve into me. I'm not even kidding guys. Like I wish I was making this up. So I literally like skirted over, like he almost killed me to be quite honest. There was like an exit right there. And luckily I kind of like pulled into the like little exit lane, but then I ended up pulling back in and he like sped off. But I was literally just had a moment where I was like, LA like literally this place and like the thing about LA is like we all move here to like pursue our dreams whatever and I just feel like people here and I do it too we get so like self-focused that we forget that like yes we are self-focused but so is everybody else so it's like a lot of the time even if you cut somebody off or like walk in front of somebody at like a grocery store or whatever like you're not doing it with malicious intent you're just so absorbed with yourself that like that's why you do that and then the person that you do it to is also so absorbed with themselves so they assume that like you did that to like be an a-hole 
people and it's like no I like wasn't even paying attention to you I just did that a lot of the time it's the way we interpret other people go out and about I just feel like so many people here are just miserable I everybody here is so materialistic and like after just money 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 but for all of the wrong reasons and then it makes me think I'm like okay if you like this material stuff that's good but do you really like this material stuff or are you just into this because it's like the LA vibe and like you're trying to fit in here because if you truly like it for your soul that's one thing but if you're just doing it because you're trying to fit in here and then why are you trying to fit in here like what is that void that you're actually trying to fill I'm about to hit my three-year mark in LA which is crazy uh, I'm 22 which means I would be graduating college this year which I feel like the past three years like living in LA has kind of been like my college which in other words we all know in college it's like people you know you just kind of you're not really an adult yet that's what I tell myself anyway and all of this to say like LA and the industry have been ticking me off lately but I still love it so much and I could never give it up there's nothing more beautiful than going to set with a bunch of strangers creating this project and becoming a family by the end of it be it a commercial a feature a vertical soap opera whatever it is there's nothing more beautiful than coming together with a group of people and creating a story and I and that is why I'm still here um it's you guys you beautiful actors you beautiful film people that keep me going it's the lord and the fact that I do still feel like I'm called to be here despite the fact that there are a lot of things that tick me off about it I love the weather here I love the opportunity here I love the amount of creatives here I've met the worst people ever in LA but I've also met the best people in LA. I love that everybody here is like me if that makes sense. When I was back in Michigan guys I'm telling you I felt like such an outsider because nobody thought like me nobody worked like me but out here everybody I feel like we all kind of have that similar like trying to get our goals but still trying to like live a fun life but also trying to hustle but still wanting to have fun. LA is beautiful and this industry is beautiful but it's really it's hard too and yeah I'm going through I'm going through a lot of like transitions in my life lately I just moved for the first time since being in LA I I'm also you know how we actors do we like to pretend like there's no timeline in this industry and we all say that and we all believe that but then in my mind I still had a timeline of like oh I have like you know I should be a, I should be an Oscar winning actress by the time I'm 22 and out of college like that makes sense I know that doesn't happen for other people, but obviously that's gonna happen for me because I'm special. Half of it too, as actors, it's like we have to have a little bit of delusion in order to pursue this industry, but then you can't be too delusional to pursue this industry. Also starting out in this industry is so funny because whether you're in front of or behind the camera, the rates that we get paid vary so much. Oh, I might be getting two grand for a commercial <laughs> or they might be offering me 200 to do the exact same thing. And why do I also feel like the gigs that pay way more, I'm usually doing way less. Whereas if it's 200, they want me to like learn all of this dialogue and blah, blah, blah. Um, this industry is hard and I love it and mostly I'm just making this rant because I want to feel less crazy and I feel like a lot of us creatives we kind of have these thoughts and with everything beautiful in life there's always resistance and there's always struggles so it shouldn't be any shock to us that on this creative journey there is a lot of struggles there is a lot of discomfort because it wouldn't it wouldn't be as beautiful without it i'm also a big fiend in like life experience and just becoming a well-rounded person and i just think that pursuing this industry in and of itself no matter what happens with my career whatever the life experience that being in la and pursuing acting has given me if I were to die today, I wouldn't regret the past few years. I would not regret the dropping out of college. I would not regret the pursuing this business. I would not regret any of the gigs I did, even the ones where I got ghosted or or fed into feet fetishes or anything like that. I wouldn't. Am I crazy? Do you relate? <laughs> Let me know.